Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are playing some more Life is Strange Before the Storm and in the last episode we found out how Chloe met Rachel and it turned out Rachel had actually saved Chloe from getting bottled which is quite nice of her and it also appears that Rachel is a popular girl at school and everyone's like to Chloe, oh my god, like how do you know her? Are you guys friends? So we're going to carry on from where we left off which was we had just finished playing um, Dungeons and Dragons I believe it was or a board game like that and we, we did died. We did die, I'm not gonna lie guys, we died. But, let's carry on with the gameplay. Mwah! Okay, so this is exactly where we finished off. Alright, we need to look at our little wrist. Get to chemistry class. I still wanna have a look around at the moment though. Back to the dormitories. No, Chloe. Oh. <laughs> Damn, I got told off. Okay, right. Let's go speak to some people. Introduce ourselves. Hello, how are you, Evan? Chloe, I'd like to talk to you about wildfire awareness and prevention. Good morning to you too, Evan. According to the Department of Forestry, He's very hipster. over 90% of this season's fires were caused by humans. Coming from me That's right a now. <laughs> and completely preventable. Um, why are you doing this? This is for college, right? I don't believe you actually care about this. My interest in fire prevention is completely sincere. Besides, I intend to get into college on the strength of my photography alone. Good for you, you think Evan. Rachel Amber would be willing to pose for my Oh portfolio? my god. <laughs> She's Everyone so loves Rachel Amber. I bet she would be a dream model. What do you think? I guess. Okay. I got to Bye. Hey, one last thing. Will you sign my petition to have a fire safety assembly at school? Sure. <laughs> sure. I love assemblies. Some of the best naps of my life. Wow, thanks. Oh I did not see that coming. You being, you know, interested in complicated issues, helping out with the public. Okay. A thanks would have sufficed. Changed my mind. I No. Yeah, okay. Okay then. Wow. How seriously am I taking this right now? Chloe Price, you just go. put your name. Just don't expect this to become a habit. Being nice. Blackwell Academy. Home of tomorrow. What? Caring about important issues. Caring God damn, general. there's so many planes that go over so low around this area. Okay, where else I'm can we go? Class. That's just one more okay, for right. Mom to we'll go to class in a minute. We're just gonna. Who's this? Samantha. Hey, Chloe. Hey, Samantha. Oh, she seems what sweet. Who's afraid of Virginia Woolf? I read that last year in Mrs. Hoyda's English class. I didn't think you did homework. <laughs> Normally I don't. I have an awful reputation here. Actually good. What did you like about it? It's sad. Uh, the story is about how relationships only work if people are willing to lie to each other. I'm not sure if you're joking. Sorry, I'm a little slow sometimes. I'm a little bitchy sometimes, so it's cool. <laughs> People always say that. But I think you're actually... Sorry, Chloe. No one says anything like that. They most definitely do, but it's fine. I bet. Right, let's go inside to class. So... I know in all these like American games, there's always like a popular girl. What, what oh my hell? god, what the fuck? What have you got here, Twitch? Don't call me that! True North. A jock so dumb he makes jocks look bad. Guess Nathan Prescott made the shit list. No, that's Nathan! Oh, wow. This is some really weird crap, Prescott. It's not yours. Give it back! I hate that you're on the team now. You're such a loser. Take it elsewhere. Take this elsewhere, guys. The mute speaks. Whoa, whoa! Oh, that's a fire you ice cream truck. Squad, fire please. ice cream truck. You don't have your dad ice cream truck. Buy off the coach. At least my family pays tuition. How much financial aid does your deadbeat dad need again? Uh oh, guys. Wow. Dick move, Nathan. My dad lost his job at the shipyard when your dad closed it down. And you want to talk shit to me? 
Leave Nathan alone. You know something, Prescott? I'm gonna do you a favor. You can't be a part of the team and be into this stupid crap at the same time. Oh shit. You're a piece of shit. I am going Stop to it. kill you. Oh my Stop. god. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Do something. Oh, I'm, what right. am I supposed to do? Oh, let's step in. The only way to stop a bully is to be aggressive. I don't want bullies on my watch. Back off, idiot. What the hell did you just say to me? Back off. Back off? As in, go away? No one's interested in your crap. Yeah. You're seriously defending Nathan Prescott? I know. Miracles happen every day. Nathan's an easy target. Look, picking on someone your own size, which I hear is pretty small. Oh, tiny such a penis. Crazy freak. <laughs> Mind your own business. I'm crazy. You have no idea how crazy, crazy. I am. Keep pushing and find out. You want a piece of this? A piece of your bromance. You mean your budding bromance with Nathan? You're clearly into him. Just pull his hair already. God, there's so many noises outside. <laughs> <laughs> so annoying. Did you just laugh? I hey! Don't, don't start on her! I just owned you. Shut the fuck up, fresh meat! You shut the fuck up! Go, Samantha. Did we back chat him good enough? This time. Yeah! Whoop, whoop, Had whoop, two girls whoop. show up to save you. Take your pervy picture book. I mean, he is a perv. Are you okay? He's just the you rich boy. From you? Oh, you're welcome. Jesus you Christ! Right? Thanks for sticking up for him. People think just because of his family. What? The security want okay with here? me now? Everything's fine. <laughs> no problem. I saw it. Yet. Did your job for you. You're welcome. Bye, Felicia. Right, I need to close my window because one, it's cold, and two, the outside sounds are annoying me. Right, that's better. Okay, we got a message from our mama. I got it from my mama. I know you're doing your best, love you. Oh, sounds like my mum. Yes, as I was saying, um, that pick would actually make a sweet. Is it actually like a popular girl in high schools in like America? We never really had one in our school. In our school, there was like this girl, a few girls. I thought they were popular, oh, but like good. no one really liked them. They You're just here. stayed away from everyone else. Do you know what I mean? Because they thought they were like all that. And, you know, everyone was like, well, we're going to play our card games and you can look down on us all you want. But we're having fun playing Uno, which we had great fun playing Uno. Chiefly that I might set it in my prayers. What is your name? Miranda. Oh. Oh, Miranda! Father, I have broke your hest to say so. Good. Admired Miranda. Indeed worth what's dearest in the world. Many a lady I have eyed with best regard, and many a time had listened to... They look so similar, Chloe many and Rachel. Many a time, the harmony of their tongues... Hath I listened to... Hayden, you're killing me. You've had weeks to be off book. Sorry, Mr. Keaton. No, don't apologize to me. Apologize to your scene partner who's been very accommodating, and to your other fellow actors, and most of all, to yourself. Mr. Keaton, sorry to interrupt, but does this look better? I had my mom take it in a bit. Rachel looks awesome. This is getting as <laughs> surreal as last night. I wonder why she grabbed me. Good, Rach. Very cool. Exquisite Rachel as always. Mr. Keaton, I'm still having trouble with my affections are then most humble. I have no ambition to see a goodlier man. I mean, does she really mean that? Especially because I just straight out told her I've been banging all the ladies. <laughs> yeah, that is hard. We've talked about that line forever. We need a fresh perspective. <gasps> Here it is. <laughs> the question is are Miranda's feelings of instant passion for Ferdinand just inexperience in dramatic circumstances, or has she actually just met the love of her life? 
What do you think? Is she asking me about the other night? Rand is an idiot, I'm not gonna lie. Rand is an idiot because falling in love is stupid. <laughs> what is she? 12? That's not what I meant. I just Actually, meant. Actually, she's about 15. So your point, whoever you are, about being an is idiot or being naive is the wrong well person. Taken. Thanks, Mr. Keaton. Later. See you later, guys. Oh, no. I have first period improv with a class full of freshmen now. I miss school, man. I love school. Hi. Your eye looks fabulous. Where'd you get it done? Uh, what? <laughs> Just kidding. That asshole really clocked you. It wasn't a big deal. I'll just be a minute. Okay. So... Are we friends? And why am I here again? I can't. Oh, could, could you, you grab tell? That for me? I think it's in my bag over there. Uh, y yeah. Sure. Where's her okay. bag? Uh, get the bag. Here it is. Don't say any stupid shit and don't, like, Oh, Anyhow, she's nervous. Sharing is caring. I have feelings about this. Far I walk, them are jealous. Not good feelings. You look hot. Who's yam candy? Deborah something. My name's not Deborah. Who's Armand? Dude, that's Chloe Price. Taylor, wasn't Rachel about to sleep over last night? I was wondering where she was. Burn. Why do theater kids take themselves so seriously? Huh. I didn't know Nathan was a theater kid as well. Right, let's. Oh, what's this? Flat. RA will suck as Prospera. If VC had any talent, maybe she would have gotten the part. Talent? Is that what got Mr. K to cast you? Slut. Yes, so call it drama lab. Rachel, Amber, and Victoria. I forgot her last name. Let's comment. Let's comment. Yes. What to say? What to say? Bitter much? You stupid slut. Playing the part of the bitter, passed over, talentless hack, VC. Okay. I was just checking, I was like, not signing at VC then? I wasn't signing at VC, it's fine, it's fine. Rachel looks so happy here. Aww. There's Rachel's belt. Yeah, we got go the belt. This to Rachel now. She wanna try and seduce us. <laughs> Times are hard for elite pencil high fund. Schools. What? <laughs> if I'd known acting meant getting to play with weapons, I totally would have auditioned for the the Tempest. I'm definitely thinking about buying a sword when I go Should to EGX. Life is drama. Sweet God. Pepe. Pepe. <laughs> Pepe the frog. Oh, a note. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta turn up the heat. Where are the pencils? I know it was you, Hayden. Oh, another note. I'm gonna guess it's from Logan. <laughs> oh, cute. Costume rack. Can we try something on? Must be a hundred costumes in here. <laughs> I mean, I the only student there's who's like not in this show? eight, but sure. Uh, Rachel, is this your belt? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Take it to her. <laughs> I'm not pervy. I'm shipping them. Oh, she's gonna get mad though. Does she know that Chloe's into girls? I really liked your costume. Thanks. So, did you bring flowers for my dressing room? I bought your belt. I love you though. Uh, I guess I owe Got you. Gotta ow. <laughs> Gotta play I'll it smooth. To that. Unlike me hitting that desk there. 
I'll let you finish changing now. Chloe Price. Rachel Amber. Last night was amazing. Uh, I'd never seen Firewalk live. Pretty fierce show. We'll have to do it again. To tell the truth, I went to bed last night wishing it never had to end. But then I thought, why? Why does it have to end? Let's do it again! Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it doesn't uh, have to end. Exactly. How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Yes. Fuck yes! Fuck yes. I was born to ditch. I hoped you'd say that. Now about that eye, that is a hell of a battle scar. Do you want me to cover it up with some makeup? Um, no way. Are you kidding? I wear this as a badge this of honor. Badge oh my of god, honor. Cersei Lannister in the house. Respect. <laughs> Let's get the hell out of Sorry, here. Sorry guys, I'm so Game of Thrones obsessed right now. I'm not gonna lie. Before I recorded this, while I was like waiting for the other first part to render, I was um, I was watching season one, episode nine, I believe, of Game of Thrones. So I'm about to watch the last one, and I know what happens in the last of um season one, and I don't want I don't want to watch it. Too sad. You sure you don't want to just grab the bus or? Nope. If we're gonna go rogue, we're doing it right. She just smacked my butt. Well. What the hell am I getting into here? Graceful. Where does this thing go? North? Maybe we'll end up in Seattle. I'd love to do something like this though. Not gonna lie. Pull up a chair, Price. The view's amazing. Oh, Elliot. Hey, why weren't you in chem? Everything okay? Oh fuck, I forgot about that. Yep. What happened with the droop? People s saying you were awesome. Yo, let's talk later. Okay. Rachel wants me to pull up a chair. Maybe guess we're not the first ones to hop on this train. I wonder what the symbols mean. Ooh, shipping label. Where are we going? Nathan's dad is a terminator. That notice of termination. Totally Prescott Foundation. Huh. Can we open this? I feel pretty confident there's going to be a dead body in here. Okay, and if you're that confident, maybe we won't open it. Just another typical day skipping school. With Rachel Amber. Right, let's move this crate and take a little cheeky seat. Okay, I'm dying a bit. There we go. Things heavier than it looks. I'd rather just sit on the edge, to be honest, if I was them. Guess I should sit down. All right, Chloe. You're on a freaking train with Rachel freaking Amber. Play it cool. Cool is my middle name. Is this nervousness? Is that what this feeling is? It feels like awkwardness to me. Me, so I could ask. So Should we make small talk? Is that what people do? Um Nah. Those are awful topics. They should not have been said aloud. It's gonna chill in silence. So it's kind of weird that we're hanging out. You mean because I don't hang out with anyone and I don't have any friends? You have friends. Well, I used to. Friend. Singular. Her name was Max, but she left for greener, more northern pastures. That sucks. Yep. I didn't mention it earlier, but you seem to have some kind of Jedi mind powers over Mr. Keaton and the theater crew. You mean when we were talking about true love in the play? <laughs> I guess you could say I'm good with people, yeah. Just don't pull that stuff with me. 
You will get on this train. I wish I was good with people, but I'm just such an oh, like, awkward potato sometimes. I bet you're wondering what we're doing. That's she knows. Okay. Yeah. Well, I wanted some company. To That's where? It. That's it. I still want to say I'm going to need more than that because I don't think Chloe would be like, oh, I love company. But we need a friend, guys. Get to fucking go. Anything beats another second in Blackwell. You really hate it there, don't you? You don't? <laughs> right. What reason would Rachel Amber have for hating Blackwell Academy? Your high school royalty. You don't know me. Yet. Rachel actually seems really nice. Let's do something fun. I'm not sure why she's only wearing one earring though. <laughs> That's winding me up. Flip! Why not? It's been punched, Rachel. I'm sorry. Wow. Too far. <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> okay, something fun. Let's move on from that subject, shall we? Two truths and a lie. What? I think we should play Two Truths and a Lie. Ooh. It's a game where each person offers up three facts about themselves, two of which are the truth, and one of which is a lie. Right. And then the other person has to guess which is which. A lot of YouTubers do this. Sure. Sounds fun. I wish I had You're more on. YouTuber friends to do this with, like collab with. Like I live in London, there's quite a lot. I just need to like make friends. I'll start. First, I'm ambidextrous. Okay. Second, I was born in New York, the land of fashion and Broadway, to which I will one day return when my heinous exile here in Arcadia Bay comes to an end. New York, huh? I've never been. Not a world traveler? Not yet, at least. If you could travel anywhere, where would you go? Russia, Greece, Kathmandu? Kathmandu? One day, I'm going to climb Everest. And I thought moving away from Arcadia Bay was ambitious. <laughs> oh, it's really sad thing? though that she's so ambitious and what My happened to thing? her. Two truths and a lie. You say three things. Right. I'm a Leo. Meow. Okay. <laughs> so, ambidextrous, born in New York, and a Leo. Gotcha. Oh god, I don't know. So, which is How am I supposed lie? to know? I barely know the girl. I want to say ambidextrous. I don't buy the ambidextrous claim. No? Well, that's too bad. Damn it! Because it's true. I think the New York Perfect. one's true, right? Sign your name with both hands. Sign where? Seriously? All the bad girls do it. Come on. Damn. I'm afraid the lie was New York. What? I'm a girl. Damn, I'm I thought the New York one was true. So, New York's on the bucket list. Broadway, here I come. Cool. Because I know she wanted to go to okay. New York. Your turn, Price. First fact. Right. Can I Something pick? about myself. Should I start things off with a lie or with the truth? Or should I cheat? Let's see how good she really is at this game. Tell a lie. I'm allergic to cats! Sad to say this, since you're a Leo and all, but I'm allergic to cats. Are you now? Swear. Was it two truth? Two. The. Ah, two. Oh my god. Two truth. Two truths. Two truths, one lie. <laughs> I love science. I love science. Seriously. That, I think Neil deGrasse Tyson is the shit. She won't believe because huh. I skipped chem class. I used to love country music when I was a kid. Now it makes me want to throw up. Literally. That's... weird. Oh well then, Rachel Amber, what's the lie? You're hella 
mysterious Chloe Price. Uh, Hella? <laughs> Who says that? It's a Callie thing. Anyway, and she picked it up, didn't I she? I think I have your number. I'm not sure why country music makes you throw up. I'm a complex girl, Rachel. I think it's probably true. Also, I kind of like the Dixie Chicks. You and David both. No accounting for taste. Who's David? My mom's an asshole. Ah, uh, yeah, an asshole. Just some asshole. That's definitely something Who Clay would say. Who likes the Dixie Chicks? He's an asshole my mom's dating, I guess. And you don't like him. <laughs> it's eh. still so weird that she's dating someone. My dad and my mom, they, they were totally in love. You can tell how fucked up she is now just by how she's settling for David. He's this total hard-ass ex-military jagoff type. Wait, you have such nice him. eyes. Oh. I'm jealous. That sucks. Yeah. David has no respect. He acts like I'm some kind of problem to solve. Sometimes I am a problem, though. That's a load of bullshit. What do you mean? What? You're not what? a problem, Chloe. You're a person. <gasps> it sounds like the only problem <gasps> is David. Just computer. You need to hit him where it hurts. <laughs> The only thing that David loves has four wheels and a four-barrel carburetor. Are we gonna oh wreck his car? God. A muscle car? I'm probably going to steal it soon, so... Let me know if you need an accomplice. We've made a friend, guys! My okay. posture is so bad, I need to you fix that shit. You say you love science, but you are failing chemistry. That's why I said it! You failing chemistry means I hate science? Or that Blackwell doesn't inspire your best work. Ooh, what's she gonna pick? What's she gonna pick? Sure! Well, sure. She's gonna keep it short it's not for and simple. Everyone. I get that. Anyway, school sucks, but. Damn! Sucks. I'm gonna say true. Damn it. So she never not allergic to cats. Which brings me to your alleged cat allergy. Alleged? I'm calling lie. Why is that? I mean, maybe you're allergic, but I've passed by your locker a few times, and I've seen that old photo of a cat you keep in there. <laughs> His name was Bo His Bongo. Name was Such a cute name. It was a gift from my dad. Did he pass away? Yeah. The cat or my dad? My dad died two years ago. I thought everyone knew that. I meant Bongo. <laughs> oh my god, of course. That's Awkward! Right. I'm so sorry. Hey, that's okay. Awkward moment of the year? <laughs> Definitely. So, if my math is correct, you told me two truths and one lie. Yes. What? You expected me to cheat? Winners make their own rules, Chloe. You are crazy good at this game. A lifetime of studying the human condition. Well, I'm impressed. I bet it's hard to impress Chloe Price. I'm gonna feel good about that one. When your dad is the district attorney, I guess lying is something you're used to. Seriously? Seriously. I know who to call if I need to get out of a ticket then. <laughs> Not that I have a right of my own. Car first, embarrassing number of moving violations second. Hey. Thanks for trusting me. Trusting you? You played the game. Also, you told me about that dick wad. Sorry, dick. guys, just moving my chair. Yeah, he's on my shit list too. Yeah, he is. Hell yeah. Woo! Mustache brain won't know what hit him. I guess. You opened up a lot. That's all. It's not a big deal. I hate to break it to you, but Chloe Price is not exactly renowned throughout Arcadia Bay as a bastion of trust and empathy. I don't trust her trust yet. Trust doesn't exactly come easy to me. Cause we just met the girl. Maybe if you'd had my life, you'd understand. No, I get Cause that. Cause Max ditched hand, us. I got on this train with you, didn't I? Fair point.
Is this a moment? <laughs> I wouldn't mind listening to some music. Do we have our phone with us? We'll share. We're just gonna listen alone. How sad is that? You wanna listen? <laughs> Probably gonna be copyrighted. I'm sorry if it is. Definitely gonna be copyrighted. Just gonna leave it for a few seconds. Cool bracelet. I've had it, I guess, since I was a kid in Long Beach. It reminds me that there's more to experience out there than just Arcadia Bay. Maybe one day I'll go back to Long Beach. Or anywhere but here. Maybe sooner than later. Me too. Arcadia Bay looks <laughs> like a bag of dicks. Bag of dicks! Not just one, a bag! I feel like I've got no reason to stay. Don't be now you got one. Chloe. If one day I'm just out of here. Oh god. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Check it out. We're here. We just jump off? What? Where is here? Jump and find out. Did you say jump? Jump! Jump! Fuck it. Why not? Chloe has such a mindset where she's got not got anything else to lose. Like she lost her best friend, she lost her dad, she's like lost part of her mum to this David guy, I guess. So fuck it, let's just jump out of the moving train. It'll be fun, life experience, right? Right. <laughs> I'm so thirsty. I ate a whole pizza before recording this. This is such a nice place. I wonder when we're gonna find the um the junkyard. Hey, it's actually a pretty nice view. Glad you approve. And as your reward for making it up here, I have a new game for us Ooh, to play. Oh, is it another Dungeons one? and like games. Dragons? Is that it. what it's called? This is one I learned in theater class. It's all about improvisation. So far, what I've learned about you is that you're into acting, lying, and playing games. I mean, What's it's true. That's all we've learned. That you're either full of imagination or full of shit. <laughs> Let me know when you figure out which one. Bit of both. This game involves spying on people from afar. Luckily, we've got some high-tech surveillance equipment right here. Let's fire it up. Is it gonna work? Um... That blows. <laughs> well, there's shit. another one next to it, right? That was my last quarter. You? Quarterless. Damn. Hey, maybe I can MacGyver something up. I've been told I'm pretty handy. Oh, yeah? Let's see what you got. Do you have to convince someone, or are we like looking for one? I don't even know what MacGyver means. 
Mikey, sorry about Drew. Not your fault. My brother's not always an ass. Oh, brother. Just most of the time? Forget it. Rachel oh. really wants to use this viewfinder. I'd love to get it working for her. Right, let's friggin' find one, shall we? Let's go have a look around. There's people over here somewhere. Like, I saw people sat down at a bench. Maybe I could convince them to be like... I down there just yet. Oh. Well then, that's a no. Give me a please, sir. Can I have a quarter? Right, what's up here? This Blackwall guy sure liked founding stuff that was already there. Founders keepers, I guess. <laughs> Get it? Founders keepers? Initials. Yuck. Cliche much, AW and BW? But where? Ooh, squirrels! Oh, I don't want to scare nature them! Doesn't quite provide. They're so cute! Guys, okay, it's gonna be really weird, but. You will think I'm really weird. Scott family has a couple screws loose. Is it weird that I carry monkey nuts around my bag so I can feed squirrels whenever I see them? <laughs> Literally, in my backpack, if you open the pocket, there's just like so many monkey nuts. Wait. Because I just want to feed the, the squirrels. Is as before? Not afraid of commitment, I see. I've been saying sorry all morning. I admit it was really dumb to lock the keys in the car. You've been on me for three hours. Oh god. Hey picnickers. Hey, spare some change? Sorry, we might have some leftover food when we're done. What? No, I'm not What kind of food? <laughs> that would literally be me. Downhill. Shh. She's right there. I just wanna look through the telescope thingy. Unless we can get their car open for them. And they'll give us a quarter. Fine then, guys. Yep, it's official. I'm learning way more ditching school than I ever do in class. The raven stands a transformation. Its grinning face betrays its trickster spirit. The raven has many ancient stories among the Salishan and other native peoples. Some say the raven helped create the first man. The raven is to be respected, never trusted. The three-eyed raven. Whoa, that's badass. Okay, so maybe we're going to need to go back over to Rachel. And then she'll be like, well, let's go pick pocket. No, not pick pocket. Oh! If Max were here, she'd probably take a black and white photograph and call it Innocence Lost or some shit. Right, let's go open that car totally for them. Totally gonna get you that quarter. Love the confidence. Would love a quarter even more. No. Let's investigate. Huh. Looks like I might be able to pry it open with the right tool. Ah. Well, they... They have a knife. Should we ask them if we can have a knife so I can just pry open the thingy? I saw it on the table. These guys are going to be dicks. I'm not having it. I want my tool. No, we still can't ask. God damn it. All right, let's just try and pry it open then. I'm not getting in there with just my fingers. Maybe Rachel has something I can use. Rachel, my girl, uh, Rachel. I'm thinking about prying open that viewfinder. Got a knife on you? A knife? Yeah. My mom took mine. Uh, no. How about a nail file? Might work. I guess you could stab someone with a nail file. <laughs> right. Sh sure, let's try it. Victoria? Chloe Price! I heard some fucked up shit from Nathan about you. Who do you think you are? He doesn't need you, you dumb fuck up. Get back to your trailer. I don't live in a trailer. By the way, Rachel Amber obviously played you last night. She'd be lucky if she ever talks to you again. Oh shit, why didn't I see that? I'm so hurt. This is just the beginning, bitch. God, she is such a bitch, isn't she? 
Damn it. It always looks so easy in the movies. I wonder if I can find something sturdier to use. The picnic people have knives! I mean, they might want to trade. Let's go see if they want to trade. I'm not going to square the squirrels away. Unless it's my last resort, in case there's something in the trash I can use. But I really don't know if we can. Home, washing laundry. Aha! Right. Let's unscrew this metal plate. Because fuck the Prescott's. Am I right? Nice. Stealing a dedication plate takes persistence. <laughs> Ooh, Steph. Hey, what's up? Wells is on the warpath. Oh no. Seriously. Just trying to help. Yeah, right, you killed me this morning. That's what the GM does, dude. Also, thanks for playing with us. Maggie had a blast. He's cool. He's been down lately, not sure why, but I know playing with you really meant a lot. Ah, Poor Mikey. Right, let's try... Rachel's quarter is still Oops. trapped in there. Waiting to be... Right, let's try this. First got power, activate. Did we do it? We did it! You are welcome. I don't want to boast, so I'll let you do it for me. Chloe Price, you are truly the viewfinder whisperer. I stand in awe of your powers. This view better be worth it, man. Rachel what are we looking at? Like Jasmine? Is she smelling me right now, too? <laughs> I really should have showered this That's morning. so uncool, Chloe. You probably should have showered. Right. Here's the game. You find some people for us to spy on, and then you and I will act out what they're saying and thinking. That's it? I do that in my head during, like, every class. See? You're a natural. Let's give it a try. Well, we're going to see something that we don't want to see. All right, let's go have a look around. Hmm... What's going on with these two? Having a barbecue? And the Lord saideth, Thou shalt make a burnt offering <laughs> of your firstborn son. Who are you talking to, Dad? No one, son. Now, lean into the grill and see if the fire started. Further. <laughs> <laughs> Further. Wow. That was dark. Too dark? Perfect dark. Oh, got compliment on being dark. How far can we go? Get all the way to the road, but there's nothing there. A man just sat by himself eating. What oh, a statue! That's weird. Ah. All right. Let's see. Why do we always hold hands like this? Didn't you tell me you were ambidextrous? No, I, mean, <laughs> I said I was ambisexual. Oh, so you can have sex with both of your hands? Exactly. Wanna see? Only if you let go of my hand first. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> right, who else we got? This person. There's a person just standing there. We, we can't... Look at him. Let's look at this man then. Think this guy's married to a nutritionist? He's all like, I'm not allowed to eat this stuff at home. So... I love grease. <laughs> How can something that tastes so good be so wrong? Uh oh Dropped a fry on my suit. Now I'll have to burn it. Good thing I have a giant squirrel costume in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember those giant squirrels from last Life is Strange? This is fun. 
Who's next? <gasps> go, 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 go! Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to hog the viewfinder. Who's that? Ooh, jackpot. Is that like her dad or something? Commence makeout session in three, two, one. Nailed it. Damn, they are really going at it. Wait, you're a prostitute? But I'm a prostitute. Now who gets paid? Ooh, Chloe's not Rachel? Chloe. Rachel's not saying anything. She hey. knows them. Are you all right? What are we doing? Excuse me. Last I Playing checked, your you're game. supposed to be Chloe Price. Yet we've been ditching now for hours, and we haven't even gotten wasted yet. That's got to be against some school ditching rule. No. I don't know. I might still be hungover from last night. Wrong answer. You don't ask a girl out and then, and then not buy her a drink. You asked me out. I want to know who it was. Is it her dad? Is it her mum? I thought her dad was blonde for some reason. They have a bottle of wine. Let's steal it. Uh, okay. Or we could go try to find a liquor store instead. No. You shouldn't bring alcohol to a public park if you're not willing to share it with everybody, right? And oh, another fuck public it. girl comes out. She's like, something that's not mine. right? All right. Do what I say. I'm going right. In. Try to keep up. Um, can we help you? <sighs> oh my god. Can we steal some of the food? Like, I prefer the food. Holy shit. Talk about committing to a performance. Oh, fine. Just swipe it. Why are you doing it slowly? Oh, thank God. Please, this is oh, in trouble. Go get help. I need to get these two to focus on Rachel so I can swipe Okay, right. Let's do, let's do this. Let's do this. Go! Who's the one waiting? Don't look at me. Look at Baywatch over here. Aw, uh, I don't remember how to do CPR. What? It's time to nut up or shut up. Watch out. I'm going to check her pulse. That's on her neck, right? I still yes. think you should go get help. There's a ranger station on the other side of the park. Good point. We'll keep watch while you go. Oh, shit. Th I don't that know. Sounds like rabies to me. Rabies? <sighs> yep. Definitely rabies. Better pay close attention to make sure she doesn't try to bite you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You can do this. I can't do it. Pathetic. Look, he's <laughs> clearly useless. This woman needs help from someone who actually knows what they're doing. Unlock hey, your potential. Do you want to be locked out of the car of life forever? Or are you ready to break in there and seize the keys to your potential? Oh my god. You're right. Okay, focus on her. Steal the wine and run. Hey, wow. I'm all better now. You saved my life from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Yeah, good work, everyone. Peace out. That was incredible. <laughs> You're a hero. Huh. I guess I am. Damn, she's drinking all of it. Here, you earn this. Nah. Oh, thanks. You're the one who really worked for it. Suit yourself. Someone needs to keep an eye on her before she goes crazy. But then now she's getting fucking super wasted and drinking the whole bottle in one go, so. I am excessively sober right now. 
I'm sure a whole right. bottle of wine will catch up. Okay. <laughs> Guess we're leaving now. Train tracks where she was the max before as well. Squirrel! <laughs> Whoa. Hey, check this out. <gasps> what? Oh, God. The junkyard. An awesome pile of trash. Let's explore. You have fun, Chloe. I'm gonna go sit down. Rachel's been acting kind of standoffish ever we since. We need to we left ask her. I mean, it was pretty obvious. What's her deal? That's, you know, Chloe just really oblivious to obvious things. Go speak to her. I've heard that actors are moody, but wow, Rachel. I'm not moody. I just need some space. Is that all right with you? Okay. Actually, no. I thought we were having a great day together. Why are you acting like this all of a sudden? I'm not acting like anything. I just want to be left alone right now. Oh, that's the tough one. Because I want to speak to her about it. But she wouldn't get pissed off. Oh, well. No. YOLO! I don't understand. You can't just turn on me for no reason. I'm sorry. Turn on you? I guess I forgot. It's always about how you feel, isn't it? Sad Chloe's fucking sad again. Maybe you should try giving a shit about other people for once. Are you serious right now? Fuck! <laughs> oh. Uh... Okay, I still have no idea what's going on with Rachel, but apparently she gets smashy when she's angry. Just ask her what's I wrong. Can work with that. It's not that hard. <laughs> Score. Let's smash some shit up. We'll give her the bat. Here. If you really want to smash something, this should do the trick. As long as it's not my face or any part of my body, you don't hit my bat with that. My bat? Hit me with the bat. That's fine. I asked you to leave me alone. Are you kidding me? I, I know you're the school princess and all, with the DA daddy and the perfect grades and all the perfect little Victoria chases kissing your perfect ass, but seriously, fuck you. Great. I'm leaving. Oh, See we didn't around. handle that well, did we, guys? <laughs> Watch me. Rachel, wait. Don't go. Why not? Because, because I don't want to ruin this the way I ruin everything else in my life. And what is this exactly? Yeah. I mean, fuck, are you okay. actually going to make me say it? Say what exactly? But what if you she's know, not into us? Like, a friendship. But more ah 
I know. Weird, right? It's just... Today was the best day I've had since... Since my dad died. And when I almost ruined it just now, the way I ruin everything, it made me realize... Whatever's going on between us is special. Come on, say something. Chloe, I... I... You know what? Forget it. This was really stupid. I mean, you're Rachel Amber, and I'm Chloe Price. It's not that. It's just hard right now. And I can't talk about it. Why not? Because I can't. I know it isn't fair, but it's how it is. Goodbye, Chloe. I fucked it. Oh no. Yeah, smash it up! I fucking would. Fuck this place. Oh, we get to pick. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that was mm, mm, anticlimactic. It's fine. You know she's fake. Y you can't take your eyes off her. Who else do I know who fits that description? Yeah! Fuck off, Rachel. Yeah! Smash up the junk! I've never understood your heart on for cameras, Max. You took a million pictures of us, and not one of them showed that you were gonna leave when I needed you most. Fuck cameras. Mum, your school called, I think you know why. We're, we have a meeting with Principal Wells tomorrow. I need you to do better. Chloe? Chloe? Okay, Chloe, I'm worried about you. Please let me know you're okay, okay? What else can we smash? Oh, this fucking toolbox! David in this fucking the toolbox. Apart from the inside, it's important to bring the proper tools. Fuck you, David. This scribble. What? Oh God.
Smash! Is that the end? I have no idea. Oh, no. Why are you crying, sweetheart? Because you're not real. <laughs> I'm not. What is going on? I have no What's idea. What's past is prologue and shit. Kiddo, look on the bright side, would ya? What bright side? You made a new friend today. <laughs> Where's my marker? Don't know, can't see it. Oh, there it oh. is. Gotta say, that was some fight. A lover's quarrel, you might say? <laughs> she nearly took your head off. What do you care? Sorry, sweetheart. I guess I'm getting into your personal business. Dad used to hate it when I wrote on shit. Wake up. Sleep is for the weak. Is this mannequin I guess doing? I did that. Yeah, you knocked his head clean off. Sometimes people need you, though. Oh, well, that's creepy, isn't it? Don't admit it? What the hell? Rachel. What does that even mean?
crow again. Hmm. If I was her mum, I'd be like worried shitless. <laughs> like, where is she? Like, doesn't even let her mum know where she's going, where she is. And she's still there, even after I had a nap. Oh, this is where they were stood kissing. You came. I'm glad. Hey. I couldn't let the day end with whatever this afternoon was. Chloe, I want to talk to you about something, but I don't know how to talk about this. You don't have to tell me anything you don't want to. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that woman? The mm -hmm. ones who were making out? That was my dad. Fucking oh. knew it! I told you! Alright. And that woman was definitely not my mom. Oh. The worst part is... <laughs> I'm not surprised. I felt like my dad's been lying about something for a while. I just... I didn't know what it was. So when I saw he got a text from an unknown number asking him to meet, I thought I thought I could catch him or something. So that's why we left all of a sudden. I'm so sorry, Rachel. I don't... I don't know what to say. Neither do I. Chloe, I love my dad. I love him. And... I never want to see his fucking face again. When my dad died, I was so mad at him. For months, I felt wrong because half the time I thought of him, I wanted to scream. And the other half, I forgot forgot that anything had changed. It's silly, but I've carried this photo around with me for years. It's from Mount Hood. My dad took me hiking there when I was 10 and it started raining and I fell and broke my arm three miles from the car. I remember screaming like I was gonna die, but my dad, he carried me down the mountain. I still remember the smell of his coat and how calm he was and the sound of his voice and... Oh, damn. <laughs> just trying to be nice. No, I, she just wants all the space I in the world. See. You trusted him. Completely. Here. Chloe, I owe you an apology. It's fine, don't, like... Don't worry about it. No, it's understandable. I mean it. Whatever's going on between us, it's intense and new and awesome. And you had the courage to tell me that you feel it too. And I treated you like shit. I mean, yeah, he did treat me like shit. I don't know if I'd call it that. More like blind desperation. I just want you to know I'm lucky that you were with me today. You're a badass, Chloe Price. What? Remember that biker asshole who wouldn't let you into the mill? You talked your way right past him. You saw that? And those skeevy douchebags who followed you upstairs? You dropped that one guy with a knee to the balls. Only because you showed I guess up at I the am last a badass. <laughs> what about Drew? When he was picking on Nathan? You got 
right in his face and called him out. That was pretty sweet, actually. See? You're the real thing, Chloe. I don't know anyone like you. Plus, you came along with me, no questions asked. Well, I don't really need a good reason to ditch school. I guess tomorrow there'll be hell to pay. My mom might skip grounding and just go straight to the death penalty. And my dad will definitely punish me with... Fuck him. Fuck your dad. Fuck him. What I wouldn't give to leave I mean, this not place literally. and never look back. <laughs> What's stopping us? Us? Are you serious? There's nothing keeping me here. Not anymore. So, if I came to you tomorrow and told you to pack your bags... I'm serious. Let's do it, Chloe. Let's leave this place forever. Okay. <laughs> Is this bitch supersonic? I always love these parts at the end where it shows every character. I wonder who that is. Okay, we attacked, we were kind to Joyce, we defended Nathan, and we told Rachel you're more than just friends. So we were with the majority in every single one of them, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, we were. <gasps> Next time.
Shit. No one steals from me. I want my fucking money. Is that Frank? That sounds like Frank. Okay, episode two, Brave New World, is coming soon. If you guys enjoyed the episode, give it a cheeky thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye. Mwah.